All right, look, okay, I've thought about this all day. It's the very next day. I have another box. I opened yesterday's box and I was just, I don't know, it just it just stuck with me about being just an underwhelming box. I'm gonna I'm gonna revert and say that last box was underwhelming. I think partially because one of the two rainbow foil majestics was like all jacked up. That's what I'm gonna say. So I have to I have to do another one. I can't let the last one be the last box ever. Maybe this will be the last box ever. Because here's the thing, as I was putting away some of those majestics, I realized like Holy crap, I'm getting pretty close to like having a, just a full on, a full set. A full set of this set, minus the legendaries, because apparently I just can't open legendaries. I just, it's not gonna happen. And you know that's okay, because maybe I'll just buy them when they're come, you know, when they're unlimited, because unlimited is like right around the corner. I'm not gonna shuffle these packs. I'm not gonna do it. I stand by that. I'm just gonna open them as is. Do you think that's, do you think that's prudent? What if this is just the cold foil right off the top? You know, okay, so I was looking at the thing. I think the one thing that I could really use the most of, wait, that was not right at all. It's this. The one thing I could really use the most of, besides legendaries, by the way, I should say, if, if, if I got lucky enough to pull a legendary in this box, or, you know, maybe I'll do another box, after this i don't know i don't know if i get lucky enough to pull another legendary the legendary i'm most looking forward to opening or trying to open at this point is is the uh, are the warrior legs i think those legs are so sick and uh, after playing bolton i'm just like yeah i want to i want to put those legs on and just wear them i just want to wear them talisman of dowsing looking at it going just just to the moon we have an ironhide helm followed by a vexing malice we got the howl from beyond this is a joke. This has to be a joke. This has got to be a joke. Is this a joke? Is somebody playing a prank on me? Are we just kidding? This is a joke. I can't, I can't not open these. Oh my God. Do I even want to continue the video at this point? What is this? This is a joke. This is a joke. Oh my goodness. A looks good though. Oh, that corner isn't a little nicked. This is a, this is dumb. Who? This was the box that my wife picked second. She was like, "Look, I picked this box, but this is the second box, just in case the first one wasn't it." So here's box number two. Oh, I'm I'm dejected. The rest of this video, we can just we can just throw all of no, I'm not gonna throw any cards away. We could just like throw the rest of this video out. I'm dejected. Will this video even air? I don't even know, man. I don't even know. I <laughs> what the heck? What is going on with my life? Oh, at least we got an Exude Confidence. Ooh, I'm I'm happy with that. I think that makes the playset of Exude Confidences. Foil Deadwood Rumbler. Bro. Oh my goodness. Exude Common is a really good card. That's a really good card. I feel like that could be one of those cards that could go into just about every deck as well. Uh, just because it's so flexible. If you're playing any blues at all, it just becomes a really gross attack that people just don't like, don't want to have to deal with to a certain degree. And I, I think that's cool. I think that's cool. Why did this rare end up over here? Because I'm so triggered by opening the same Iron I'm I'm starting to hate Ironhide equipment. I kind of hate it. I just can't do anything but get Ironhide equipment. I just can't. And that's okay, I guess. You know, I think maybe there's a correlation too because we've opened like the Ironhide pieces as singular cold foils in the box. Like we've never opened a double cold foil with an Ironhide, right? Trimmer and a Rising Solar Tide foil common. Were the the legendary boxes that we opened? Did those have iron hide or did the, no? Because like one of them had the the gallantry gold. Maybe the other one had the iron hide. I bet you it did. The other one had the iron hide. So maybe we could still get lucky, but I don't know. Anyway, exude confidence. That that card is a card that like I think can make a lot of decks better in general. But I don't know how I feel about some of like so some of the generics are very intriguing and I think this is what really has me interested rise above glisten 
brandish foil common. I'm really interested in deck building with this set. I don't even want this on camera. For, forget. I'm just gonna. I'm put it there. I'm gonna put it over there, but I don't want it on camera. Uh, looking at like the the heroes and the classes that we got in this set, it's it's very intriguing to just go. Man, let's just build all of these heroes, kind of like top notch. See what you can get from them. Uh, and yet, at the same time, I feel as though. Like there's a there's some interesting options for like out of set play for some of the other heroes with some of these cards, and Exude Confidence gives me that same feeling. But I find it hard with the certain like heroes that we have out muscle pulping and a foil ooh foil ode to wrath. Um, I had I don't think I have the foil rare like parable and ode that looks really nice. That's a really cool poppin' foil. I wonder if there's like a better way. If I get it really close to the camera, does it help? It doesn't. It doesn't. That's a pretty foil rare. In set, I'm finding less utility in things like Exude Confidence and... Um, oh, what is it? The uh, the six attack one that if you have no attack action cards... what The Nourishing Emptiness. Like those kinds of cards. I feel like those are almost better out of set for the like vanilla heroes than they are in set where there's a lot more going on with the heroes and the classes that are um, talented like light and shadow that those really just want their merciful Re retribution Dark dusk path pilgrimage and arcanic crackle blue those really just want their game plan to play out as is and um like exude confidence doesn't really strike me as fitting as many of those as possible like yes you can put exude confidence in um a prism deck right and it would make a ton of sense because you know she's gonna have a lot of blues you pitch it it becomes a six attack and uh it's just really hard to deal with that makes some sense you could put that same thing into um into chain technically you could put it into chain even though you can't give it go again uh, but you could plow through red dusk path pilgrimage red wow that's a good uh, and a herald of tenacity foil red that's a uh, a pretty good warrior sealed pack and you're like oh sweet i got a dusk, dusk path and a plow through that's pretty nice maybe you play raiden with that if you open it in the sealed pool um what was i saying oh it's just it was just kind of interesting like you could play those things, but oftentimes those classes just want to do what they do. Just want to banish cards and play from banished. Just want to, um, you know, play prismy things that are giant. And so it strikes me as like maybe these are cards are just straight better. God, that would be so pretty in cold foil. Just straight better in classes that are out of the set. Howl from beyond as the foil rare. Kind of a cool little popping on the teeth. Uh, let's see, Convulsions from the Bellows of Hell. That's a, So here's the other thing. I've messed with all of the classes now a fair bit, except Levia and Shadow Brute, which means I think I'm going to try to like actively seek out a way to play Shadow Brute over the next couple of uh, days or weeks. Because I've done a lot of like building like decks for all of the other classes, and I've just actively avoided Levia and Shadow Brute. Namely because I, I think just the the idea that, oh, she just turns off Blood Debt is not compelling to me. Seek Horizon, Phantasmify, and a Foil Illuminate. A foil, Red, Illuminate. Very pretty card. Uh, it's just not as striking to me. Though, it's very interesting. I think that is the, the one class that I need more Majestics for. Levia and Shadow Brute. Um, what I do find is that I am more interested in building her with unlimited card like not unlimited cards with uh, cards from the other sets i'm more interested in building her with like all of the other possible cards uh, it's interesting to like take normal brute cards from other sets and jam them into a levia deck and see how those work i find that to be the more intriguing things with the uh, trimmer the seeping shadows and a foil red dread screamer that's a cool foil I don't think I'd seen Dread Screamer in foil that much. That's fun. Looks painful, but it's fun. So this is a uh, this is a dumpster fire of a box so far. 
We are, uh, we're making great conversation, but we're absolutely getting slaughtered <laughs> in this box. This is really, really not good. Um, we have one Majestic, we have a Common Cold Foil, and it is the Ironhide Common Cold Foil. Uh, this box, this box is so trashy. The last box was trashy. This one's trashier. Hey, we get a Guardian of the Shadow Realm and a Foil. Wow, that actually looks great. A Foil Red Blood Tribute looks so nice. Whew, that is so pretty. I was thinking about this card today. I was thinking I was going to try to play it. Um, Guardian of the Shadow Realm is a majestic Shadow Defense reaction. I put two of these into a chain deck I messed around with. I didn't build the deck. I built it on FabDB, by the way. You should check out FabDB. Um, I built it on that site, and it's a weird chain deck. I'm just going to tell you. It's weird, and I think I like it. Uh, I think it sucks, but it's awesome. That's, that's how I feel about it. I think that what I put together is not good. And yet, I want to do it anyway. Why did I put that there? Oh, because I'm totally triggered by this this box, which is just not going well. But that's okay, because we're still having a nice time opening packs. And you know what? This is the thing that I was missing. It's just opening packs. I just enjoy myself. Some pack openings, Rise Above, followed by the Herald of Erudition, followed by a second swing. Got another Majestic here. I'd love to see an extended art. That'd be fun. Um, I haven't pulled one of those. But then again, I've I've missed a lot of really spicy pulls because I keep pulling these stupid cards. Good lord, man. Maybe one day. Maybe one day we'll get something super crazy. But I don't think I'm going to open too many more of these. I don't know. Um, so I will say this. I was inspecting some of the cases that I uh, purchased uh, this is the one that we opened. Uh, this is the second box from said case that we opened. And there's one case outside of this one that had one portion of the tape had separated, I guess, during the mailing process. It had broken off. And so do I have to open that? Like, do I need to open that pa like that whole case now? Because I kind of don't want to. We have Soul Harvest, followed by Convulsions from the Bellows of Hell. Red, followed by an Impenetrable Belief. Blue. Like, I kind of don't want to open that case because... So, like, the, the safety tape is, like, connected all the way around, except on one side of the lid. Like, of the, of the taped together top. <coughs> Excuse me. That one side it is not connected. It, it, like, just separated. But outside of that, it still looks like good like it's still a good case like obviously it's been sealed the whole time known doesn't look like it's been opened or anything like that certainly not opened by like a customs agent because this was all purchased in the u.s take flight blood tribute surging militia seek enlightenment belittle by the way if you're curious i got uh i got these this case and that other case i'm talking about consuming aftermath glisten yellow followed by a seeping shadows red foil rare um, I got all of these from uh, Deck Edge. Do you know Deck Edge? If you don't know Deck Edge, you should know Deck Edge. Uh, you can check them out at, uh, I think it's just straight up deckedge.com. But uh, I bought some stuff from him, some cases from him, so that I can open them here, so that I can uh, make some videos. He's super supportive. Super nice dude, too. You should just check him out. He has his own uh, Patreon, and you can buy boxes from him at like good prices very very good prices especially if you're like his patron um and he's he's done some really sweet stuff for his uh for his patrons and for just the the community in general trimmer of arathiel merciful retribution followed by the convulsions from the bellows of hell blue so yeah i got this uh box in this case from him he needs to send me better cases that's that's right that's what it is. I'm two boxes in, and I'm just, I want my, <laughs> I don't want my money back. I'm joking. I don't. Though I am really sad. <laughs> These two boxes, oh lord. These have just not, they have not been solid. Maybe my wife's luck ran out. Maybe I just need to go and pick a worse box to make her feel better. Seeping Shadows after the Consuming Aftermath, followed by the Foil Common Overload. Maybe, maybe if I pick a box, It'll be a good one. Maybe the tables have turned. How the turn tables? Maybe. I don't know. So I uploaded a, uh, a video of some gameplay. If you missed it, you should go check it out. 
that was a good time. I enjoyed playing that. Uh, people are like, yeah, bring more gameplay videos. I'm like, yeah, sweet, I'll do that. If you guys watch it, I'll make that video. See, here's the thing. People are like, ah, oh, box opening videos are dumb. And that sort of thing. But, like, I watch box opening. Oh, a Tome of Torment. I like this card. Even though it's like, um, I don't know. Even though it's not one of those things that uh, seems like it's like a huge hit. To me, this is a huge hit. I don't know. Maybe just because I like that card. Followed by a Seek Enlightenment. Beautiful foil common. That's a card that looks way better in foil than it should. <laughs> it's like, that's a common. Why does that look so good? Because it's beautiful. Tome of Torment with the four. We got four. What was I saying? Oh, I don't remember. Oh, like I watch box opening content and uh, when I upload box openings, people watch those. And uh, you know, at the same time, I think people just want to change of pace and I totally get that. Cause sometimes I want to change of pace. So if you watch it, I'll upload it. It takes, uh, it takes some editing to do uh, gameplay videos because like if I'm putting the overlays like the, hey, this card is what we played. Then I have to basically just edit the video, like cut it into like when we actually play cards and just don't sit there in the tank, right? Um, cut the video and then I edit the uh, things over. Parable of Humility, ooh, good, I needed, I actually don't have three Bolting Blades. This is a card I, I needed. Oh, I like that card, Bolting Blade is solid. Followed by a Rising Solar Tide. Bolting Blade, that's another way I wanted to build Bolton. It's just do like all charges. Like, no weapon attacks. Don't focus on weapon attacks. Maybe just play the Raiden. Duskbane. Since I got that in cold foil. I think that'd be a fun way to build Raiden. Anyway, it takes more time to do one of those videos than just about any other video that I make. Like a gameplay video. It just takes more time. Which is why gameplay streams are so fantastic. Because uh, I don't have to do the back-end editing. Though, the back-end editing, I will say, makes things so much more polished, right? So much more polished. Seek Enlightenment Red, Yellow Overload, Ghostly Visit Red, Adrenaline Rush Yellow, attacks for three, gains plus three if you have less health, so attacks for six. That's a yellow. Ugh. Sick of those cards. Out Muscle, followed by the Herald of Triumph, and another Out Muscle. Out Muscle, Foil Rare blue. I like the way that, uh, and it's hard to tell, look at it right there, that's that's the one right there. I like the way they put the uh, shine on the coins. That's pretty cool. Alright, we're down to uh, five packs. Five packs in this, what is, I guess, come a little bit better. It's become a little bit better of a box. I, ha I have one foil majestic. I have no foil majestics. I have no, f this box is trash. But we're having a good time anyway. I'm telling myself that, even though I don't quite believe myself. I'm just sad, man. Like, I, I want, like, a big hit. I, I want something super exciting. But, you know, I guess you can't always get what you want. You can't always get what you want. But if you try sometimes, well, then you get what you need. Uh, Ironhide Gauntlets. I have those. I've seen those. Seek Horizon. Valiant Thrust. And a... Hey, there's a Foil Majestic, and a Foil Majestic that is a fantastic card in general. I was building a deck with this exact card as, like, the the impetus for the deck, the genesis of the idea for what I wanted. I was building this earlier, uh, and it seems cool, man. Seems cool. That's a good Foil Majestic to get. So we do have one Foil Majestic. We have six Majestics, and we have a common cold foil. God, I'm, I'm really good at opening bad boxes, so you don't have to. You're welcome. You're, we <laughs> you're welcome, everybody. The With the hits. You know, the nice thing about foil Sonata Arconics is it's probably going to see uh, experimentation in normal Rune Blade as well. Making the foil version of it. Ooh, sought after. Express Lightning Red. Herald of Protection. Uh, underrated. I'm thinking about making a... Um, Prism deck that's all about making tiny, uh, tiny spectral shields so that you can just jam them down and hit your opponent in the face. Oh, look at this double majestic back to back packs with the invert existence and a foil rising solar tide red. So, look, we're, we're rounding out our uh, foil number, or it's not our foil numbers, we're rounding out our majestic numbers. We're at seven, we are at seven majestics. And we're down to three packs. So hopefully something spicy happens here in the in the close. But af, you know, even if it doesn't, which is it's looking like it's probably not going to, we have a seven-ish. Maybe we get another majestic here in the close. A seven majestic box and an unfortunate coiled 
coil, coiled, cold foil common is what I'm trying to say. A coiled foiled common. Rip through reality, boneyard marauder, cross the line. Herald of Ravages Yellow, Take Flight, Yinti Yanti, Ghostly Visit Yellow. Ghostly Visit also seems like just a good card, but I haven't put it into a chain deck. I think it just takes up too much. There's too many other good cards. It's just going to get pushed out. Out Muscle, Seek Horizon, a Dread Screamer, Yellow, Foil. This one doesn't pop as much as that other one we opened previous. All right, and we're down to the uh, Light and the Shadow pack. Pick. Make your choice. You get to pick Light or Shadow. We're going to open the Light one first. And then we'll end with the shadow so we can have like the the Hello Darkness My Old Friend song play. Now I don't think I can actually play that music because if I do I'll get copyright struck. So just imagine that Hello Darkness My Old Friend plays at the end of this because clearly this box uh, warrants that. Rifted, that's me after opening this box. And that's everyone telling me I shouldn't have opened it. That's legit what's happening. That's me after opening this box and seeing yet another Ironhide Cold Foil. That's, no, I'm not gonna do that for every card. That's just gonna get super boring. Spears of Surreality is under, uh, or it's, it's under, what's the word, underrated. It is underrated. I put that into a Prism deck. Aether Iron Weave, Convulsions, Pulping, and a Take Flight Foil. I'll put that in the, uh, I'll put the foils in there. You know what, for, for this set, I've been jamming the foils into the decks just because they're very pretty. So take flight red, I will put that into that Bolton deck. Someone mentioned, by the way, they were like, uh, you could run Enlightened Strike, and that'd be really good because you can give it go again and plus two. You know, plus two, then pop a thing, give it go again. I'm like, yeah, that is good. But that's not the point of the deck, at least not the way I built it. That wasn't the point of the way that I built the deck. Uh, you can definitely, definitely try that, though. The last pack. Here we go. Let's see what we get in the close. Ironhide, V of the Vanguard's a beautiful card. Red Glisten, followed by a Pulping Foil Rare. Oh my god. Play the music. Roll the music. This hurts. This one hurts, guys. This one hurts. Like, I've heard of worse boxes, I will say that. But this one feels very dumpster fiery. Invert Existence. We did get a Foil... Sonata Arconics. That's the only foil majestic that we got. We got a uh, Bolting Blade, which I did need, so that's good. A Tome of Torment, which I don't need anymore. I have uh, several many. Herald of Erudition, which is good. Guardian of the Shadow Realm. We have Exude Confidence and a Cold Foil Iron Hide Gauntlet. Maybe, maybe, oh, I don't know, man. Do I just keep opening these boxes trying to get another legendary? Tell me in a comment below. Tell me, tell me what to do. Am I going crazy? Should I just keep like trying this? Maybe I can finally get a full play set of like cold foil iron hide. Maybe, maybe if I just get a play set of that, they'll all stop showing up at my house. I don't know. Leave a like and a subscribe. Do that thing with the numbers. Hey, this number, by the way, went up in like a day. I don't know. I appreciate you for doing that. As always, everybody, thanks for watching.